Welcome to part 4 of my guide. Uh, I'm going to install the motors. I'm going to install the ESCs. I have decided that each EAC will uh, be fixed on the arms. Uh, I'm also not going to use the power distribution board at, as uh, it's too big for uh, my quad. It will take a lot of space here. So I'm just going to connect the wires together and uh, insulate them. Also, I'm going to change the plug on the uh, delivered battery because I do not like this type of uh, connector. I will uh, replace it with this type of connector. And uh, also I'm going to add uh, another connector for the FPV transmitter. First, I'm going to start with the motor installation. Uh, I have already found their uh, spinning uh, sense and uh, where each motor will go. So I'm going to start with the first motor. This one will go here. Uh, each motor comes with a bag like this with assorted screws. There are four screws, four uh, screws that are long four short screws and uh, four medium screws. In my case, the medium screws are the best. If you use uh, too long uh, screws, uh, there's a possibility that the screw will go through the arm and enter the motor and hit the wiring inside, possibly damaging it. To install the motor, uh, this position will be something like this with wires oriented on the arm and you need to take a look on the back of the arm and see where it, the engine holes line up with the holes in the arm and then with the medium screws you are going to fix it After you insert all the screws, uh, I have not uh, tightened them up yet, just to be sure that the motor has uh, a good position and that uh, it's uh, uh, properly lined up. Now I'm going to verify each screw and tighten it up enough for it not to it out because of the vibrations and now I will repeat for the rest of the motors. For the installation of the ESCs I'm going to use uh, zip ties to hold them in place and uh, temporary I'm going to solder the wires and uh, use some uh, duct tape to insulate them until I configure each motor from the controller to know each spinning uh, uh, sense and uh, if I need to reverse them I'm going to unsolder them and uh, um, swap to wires. Now I'm going to start uh, the soldering process. I'm gonna use this terminal connected to these wires. This will be my onboard plug and uh, at this end I will connect this plug which goes to my FPV transmitter and also each of the wires that comes from the ESCs that uh, gives power to them. So when I actually plug the battery here it will power up all the ESCs and the transmitter. The ESCs, as you know, have built-in uh, battery eliminator circuit, which will uh, power on the controller and the receiver here. So I don't need to install additional wires for that. To solder this easily, I'm going to use a plier and jam the plug-in to hold it. So it's like a third hand. So I got a small plus sign here. 
this will connect to the red wire. I'm also going to do the same with this plug and going to cut it from the wires and uh, replace it with this. To change the battery plug uh, you must uh, take great care because if you short circuit the battery you can be in a lot of trouble. So just take a lot of care doing that. Also do not forget to add the heat shrinking on the wire before soldering it. The battery is completed with a new plug. I'm gonna put it aside. So now I'm going to use this cable which I'm going to solder to this and also to group all the ESCs together. I'm going to do something like this. Rear ESCs will connect to front ESCs like this and also this will come in here and the same for the positive and with this also here. I have uh, grouped the negative uh, wires here. You can see the one that comes from the battery in the rear ESCs and the front ESCs and the FPV power cable. Now I'm going to find a method of soldering them together in line like this and then, and then slipping the heat shrink over them After some uh, fiddling, I did manage to solder them quite nicely. You can see it's uniform on all sides. So now I'm going to put the heat shrink over it and insulate them. Plus side it's uh, now soldered and I'm going to use a heat shrink to cover it. Now I'm going to solder the motors to the ESCs. I'm going to do that random and I will not uh, hit uh, shrink them yet as uh, most uh, probably I will need to change the wires for uh, reversing the motor uh, rotation. Now all the motors have been uh, soldered and uh, also they are insulated. Uh, it remains to connect the ESC's control to the uh, main controller uh, and uh, to the receiver. Uh, the controller's open pilot has a small arrow, this means front, it should go like this, but you can configure it from uh, its setup menu to put it in another position. I'm going to choose a position to have access to the USB port so I'm going to put it like this. To fix it on the quad I'm going to use double sided uh, tape and probably a zip tie. Also I will need to find the uh, space to add the receiver which will go in the back here and for the video transmitter something like this and all of this will stay under the top plates like this. So flight controller is installed, uh, receiver is installed. The next uh, episode is uh, about configuring 
the open pilot controller and testing the motors and after that we can uh, finish the build bye bye